Hey everyone, welcome to the latest demo for the Blend Shapes. I'm going to bring these two characters in here. Now this is a demonstration with the uh, Human Fantasy Pack, uh, but this same workflow works for all of my characters and environment objects that have Blend Shapes. Um, so keep that in mind that this is the same script you'll find on all of them. Um, so in SF Base Studios, SFB Human Pack, Oh, Human Fantasy Pack Game Ready Files, which is the main download from the UD Asset Store or my own website, infinitypbr.com. Uh, you'll find the prefabs and the full morphing here. So if you come into either of these here, you'll notice this Blend Shapes Manager script. It's a C-sharp script. Um, first thing up here will be the scripting details, which ignore this. I need to update this to C-sharp instead of JavaScript as the scripting has changed. Um, and these preset files, which is a great way to save and load the, uh, the data even during runtime. And then finally the blend shapes themselves. So let's go through these and, um, and we'll uh, uh, explain what everything means. So um, you're going to have one blend shape for every object in the hierarchy of the character that uh, has blend shapes available. Now, if you click this reload blend shapes button, it will uh, uh, reload only what's active. So don't click that um, unless you absolutely want to remove the stuff that isn't active that you're not going to use in your game or whatnot. Uh, you can turn on and off the wireframe. Uh, sometimes turning it off makes it a little bit easier to see and again it will only turn off the objects that are selected here so this dagger is not in here therefore it can't be turned off uh, and then you can reset the values if you've if you've just done things and you want to change them all that resets all values on every blend shape to zero um, so let's look at something that's easily visible with these just I don't know how to pronounce this but that's these flappy things right here so we've got the length then we can go up and down and that's pretty cool. At zero, they, they, they're a fine length, but you can make it a little shorter or you can make it a little longer. Uh, generally, the extreme values on all these blend shapes are pretty extreme and you probably aren't gonna use that. So the idea is that you choose a, if you want this to be randomized for every character, one, one use of this is to, every time an enemy is spawned, to have it slightly different, so they're all slightly different um, for the player then you might want to be like, oh, this is as this is the low I, I want to get. So just select whatever it is and click this min button. That will set the minimum range to 35, negative 35. If you say that this is the maximum I want to get, click the max button, it will set to 37. If you click the reset, it goes down to back to zero and you can see it change right there. But these minimums and maximum are there, still there. So now we can click this randomize and every time we click that, it just gets a random value. Um, the other option right here is the option for do not record, record value, and random on load. Uh, that refers to these preset files, which we're talking about in a second. Um, so keep that in mind. And then we have these uh, here. Well, let's say we have something like the body, which has you know hundreds or dozens of uh, of options. If you click that randomize all button, then it will randomize all in that list, just in that list. You can reset the values to reset all the values in that list. You can set the max range or the minimum uh, range to zero for all in that list as well. So right here, set max range to zero, and then when you randomize all, we get a completely randomized body. Um, and so let's reset this to negative 35 and positive 35. And uh, uh, now when we look at the body, this is a good caveat here. I mentioned that the extreme values are really extreme. So for the body, um, these extremes are often very extreme. These face shapes are actually just two preset uh, shapes that are perfect for just different characters. But when you get to different things like the neck size, you go from really skinny to really, really thick there. Um, and you get some, some, some uh, uh, cool looks, but when you start adding them together, uh, you're gonna start getting some really weird looks. And that's why when you randomize this, you get these absolutely uh, hideous characters, which could work for your character to play on your game. If you want a weird deformed troll, then uh, you're set there. Um, you know. So what we have here is a problem where you don't want these at the max range. So I'm going to reset that value and set the range to zero. 
So what I've done is gone through and set a nice range for most of these to where you can randomize for a pretty decent set. And we've saved that as a preset file. So up here in the preset files, um, uh, we've got uh, this option here for export ranges preset and then an option here to load ranges presets. So in the blend shape presets file here, you'll see these two human uh, female demo ranges and human male demo ranges. Save this as a big note. This is just a list of numbers, but the way it works is you just drag this female one here and uh, then click this load random ranges. Now all the random ranges I've set um, will be there. Um, and then if we randomize all, we get a much more uh, subtle changes that all look pretty much realistic for humans. So um, certainly it's something that you can modify once you you know start playing around with this. If you want to take the time, um, you can modify your, your, your minimum and maximum values to be even more or less uh, lenient with the shapes. Um, the problem is that when you start combining a bunch of more extreme shapes together, you definitely get some weird outcomes. So you want to keep those pretty conservative when it comes down to it. Um, and so that, that shape has been set for all the wardrobe too. So uh, when you start out um, with this character and you want to use the blend shapes, I really suggest just using this as the starting point. If you want to take the time, you can go and, and, and create your own. All you have to do is export the ranges preset and it will create a new one um, under this title right here. Uh, oh, it looks like my things are duplicated, but it'll cut, create a new one with a new, um, with a new number. It'll create a new ones, so you can just create as many as you want, um, and then you can rename those if you want. Um, so going back to my blend shape preset here, the other thing with the presets are uh, these other preset files. So um, earlier we talked about these record value, these options for record value, uh, random on load and do not record. You can set those all up here. Um, whoops, rather. Uh, up here where you say include all, uh, which is going to be record, value, random, random on load, or exclude. And uh, that means, I'm going to set these to random, that means that if you click the export uh, values as preset, I'm going to call this demo random female, uh, export that, and in your blend shape script here you'll see this uh, demo random female zero. Again, if you do another of the same name, it will create another one with a new number, so you don't have to worry about overwriting. And all that file is, is just a bunch of R's. Um, similar to the other one, just bring it in here, it'll automatically populate to this list, and you can just load the preset and it will randomize everything. Uh, what's great about this is it kind of saves these almost like a prefab. It's just a text file, but you can bring it in here, and in your game, you can actually have many uh, setups like this and uh, load them as in whatever way you need for your game. Um, that's really up to you, the sky is the limit. But it's just an easy way of saving your settings so you don't have to go about and redoing it over and over every time you want, especially if you're going to use, use these in multiple projects and you want to keep the same options. These uh, files just, of course, transfer between projects just fine. Um, so for the mail, I'm just going to show you some options as well for the same thing. Same deal, uh, we're going to the preset files, uh, bring in this uh, uh, blend shape presets, the male demo ranges. Uh, whoops, where is it? Ah, under blend shapes, uh, male demo ranges, and uh, uh, load the random range. And then we'll just uh, say randomize all, and you'll see that he's changing as well. Um, again, somewhat subtle enough that you, they all look slightly different, but not so much that they get weird unexpected results. Uh, combine this with different texture combinations and you've got a lot of randomization options. So if you have any questions about the blend shape script, let me know on the forums. Again, this script is the same for all of our, my characters um, and uh, whether they're creatures or humanoid or even just environment pieces, they'll all have the same uh, basic design and uh, the blend shapes themselves don't really take up any overhead so there's no worry about including these in any project mobile games as well they'll work perfectly fine and they won't really slow down your game any more or less uh, unless you're changing a bunch of options all at the same time or whatnot but uh, during the runtime when they're just static even during small changes it shouldn't be an issue at all so let me know if you have any questions and have a great day